Hey there, this is David Ferrari reporting from the Appalachian Trail for Fort Atkinson Online. Once the lighting gets better, you'll see the beard's grown a bit since I last talked to you. Um, when I last sent in a video submission, I was at mile 165 in southern North Carolina. And as I'm recording this, I'm at mile 850 in Northern Virginia. I'm about a day or two away from entering the Shenandoah National Park. And about two weeks, if I had to guess, from exiting Virginia, which is a, a big milestone on an Appalachian through hike because of the 14 states that the trail goes through, Virginia has 550 miles of trail, which is a quarter of the total mileage of the trail. So um, it's the biggest state by mileage for sure. And it's not uncommon to, for people to get what's known as uh, the Virginia blues, uh, which is mostly where um, it takes, it takes a while to do 550 miles, so you're in Virginia a while, and some people kind of get down on themselves about like, Ugh, I'm still in Virginia, you know, it's, you know it, it, some people staying in the same state for too long um, feels like a lack of progress, but I've been fortunate that that hasn't happened to me. I think it's because while I enjoy the milestone of crossing into another state. Um, what really, what I focus on is every 100 miles, like, okay, that's 600, that's 700, that's 800, that kind of thing. So, um, I, I wasn't too worried about the fact that I was still in Virginia because I was excited that I was still making good progress uh, at a good pace. Uh, as I record this, it's been two days since I got dropped off from my last infusion trip to Fort Atkinson. So I've been there and back. Um, my parents and uh, my aunts and uh, my grandma came out and helped keep me company on the road trip, which was very really nice. Uh, kind of breaks things up in the car ride because you get to talk to people about what's been going on. I have been averaging around 16 to 20 miles per day um, or at least I should say on days that I on a full day of hiking I'm doing 16 to 20 miles my average would be less than that because about once a week I take a day off to just rest up and get food and that kind of thing um, otherwise that's, that's another thing I should say. I resupply and get food and charge my batteries about every three to four days. So sometimes that's just a quick pop into a town, get stuff and get out. But once a week, I take a full day off just to rest because no need to get hurt by overusing things. Um, but yeah, so that's going on. I had my biggest mile day the day I got picked up. Um, I got going about 8 in the morning, and by 6.40, I had hiked a little over 27 miles, which was my first marathon ever, so I'm officially a marathoner, and I did it with about 22 pounds on my back going over mountain ridges, so that was cool. Otherwise, spirits still remain high, uh, I'm still very glad to be out here, still feel very fortunate to be out here, and yeah, as long as I can avoid injuries or, heaven forbid, any family emergencies back home, um, I am on track to get this thing done probably by mid to late August, which is uh, what I was hoping to do or I should say what I was planning on happening when I initially set off. So all is well out in the woods. I hope everything is going well 
back in Wisconsin. And in about two months, I'll be back with another update. Should hopefully be in Vermont or New Hampshire by then. So this is David Ferrari from the AT signing out.